It'll be Notre Dame first on the docket with a win already against BC. Off we go from PNC Arena. He's the senior from Australia at 19 points per game and also know Ryan Hurst, a freshman who had just debuted his first couple of games collegiately. They had a 10 point lead against Ball State. This is now the second game in which they've led by more than six points, but that is short lived as DJ Horn sticks a much needed three for NC State. Four minutes despite all the struggles, despite the dozen losses for Detroit Mercy. Ben Middlebrook's on the receiving end from a slick feed from Michael O'Connell. You know, they want to get out, spread your route, fight through ball screens, make you take contested jump shots there. Horn a deep one. Knocks it down. He's been so hot from the three-point line. He continued on. He's handed out buckets for Christmas. 16 of his last 23. Good passing to Rice from Middlebrook's. We're not seeing the ACC play. There's Horn on the baseline says why not with a follow away and he is feeling it he's got 10 of the 18 for the pack yeah he is optimistic about getting back toward full strength when they dive back into horizon league action dj burns on a turnaround he is I, I, for so many different reasons i think his personality and who and what he is i mean he's just so lovely, lovely guy but in honesty i think he plays the right way he's so unselfish and he just has great hands great feet you look at him and like he says you think he's you don't think of him in the same breath as he claims in the Lajuan, and you think of Zach Randolph. And... How about this finish from Donovan Totley? Totley comes in, just gets to that dominant hand. That's the difficult part of guarding DJ Burns. You don't want to leave him one-on-one -on -one in the post because he plays at his own pace, but he's just such an elite passer. He starts the break here to Horn. Three on two. The finish from Parker. Davis had done a good job defensively the last possession, the other end of the floor on Middlebrooks, and then turned over. Picked off by Taylor, and he is elite defensively. Just great anticipation here on the weak side. Just gets it and, you know, comes down. I'd like to see him get up and play above the rim and finish that something that Mike Monaco would do, one of them windmill jams or something. Well, he'll be rewarded also with that. At last, we saw the highlight before he got the pass and lane, was able to get down and get the steal. But he'll create pressure. And then when they throw it and his teammates steal it, he'll be able to get up and get a lot of layups. But it'll work itself out. The ball rewards you when you defend like that. That's a great job there, catching it in traffic and finishing. And that, that's his role. It's frustrating to him and his players. And you have to hold everybody accountable. I know it's frustrating, and that's what you got to continue to do to, to make sure that your guys are not, not throwing in the towel. How about how hard Eddie Delcati is playing? And who can also do this? Yeah, not many of those. This is what we talked about. That's an issue. You know, you, again, in the higher major level, you're expecting big. They did a survey in practice earlier this year, and he rated as having the top motor on the team. Taylor drives, got his own miss, and followed. 20 from Horn. Nobody else with more than six. That was from Burns. Parker, no. And a rebound initially hauled down by Mac Manseal, but ripped away by Taylor. Gets it back to the corner. Drive and dish for Burns. Little resistance there. That's his easiest two he'll have all year. And then Tankers League couldn't haul in the pass from Delcadia. Marcel pulls. Hits. He loves the transition three. And now Horn gets it back. Meadowbrook on the short roll. Battling underneath. That he's got a chance at three. Charge signal at one end, finish at the other. Finish this. He's like, I've been playing all this defense. I'm taking charges. I'm doing all the dirty work. Let me get my name in the book in the scoring column. I really do. I think they got some things to figure out defensively as they continue to lock in on the defensive end of the floor. Tough shot, totally. How many teams would you have in from the ACC right now, and how many do you think they can get? I think they can get as high as seven, maybe. Do you think we've become too numbers oriented? I mean, we've been looking for kind of one catch-all ranking, but do you think it's gone too far? Uh, in fact, there's some things in, and we're just really inconsistent with a lot of those things, but the narrative just hurts us in, in, the, in the ACC fans, and I think we need to do a better job of, of really just talking about that and coming up with some type of concept or, or, Horn thought about a step back. The handoff from Burns. The three. 
but they, they found their identity. They're back to playing at a fast pace, and I think their team is as good as anybody in the country. Burns wanted a foul, didn't get it. Speaking of fast pace, Detroit Mercy runs with Tyree Davis. Tyree Davis is giving him good minutes. I mean, he had that one careless turnover and that technical foul. He's giving him good minutes. Three J Horton's got another. They thought they were going to have to play zone and not play as much, and then they put DJ Burns in, and I think he changed the trajectory of their season a year ago. And I think he's, you know, he, you have to have him on the floor. He's just too important in what you're trying to do. So we talked about him needing to score before, and he's with 20 points. Here. Chance at three for LJ Thomas. So the thing about Home Alone 3, and then a week and a half from now, it's back to ACC action. NC State at Notre Dame on ACC Network. That's next up after win number nine for NC State.